Hi guys. Welcome back to Robertson's Belly Acres. Welcome, welcome. You guys, we're so excited. Um, we received the seed box from Sandy at Suburban Homesteaders, Wyoming. Yes. She started this box and it's been passed through several channels. Um, we'll list all of those in the description but it was passed to us from Gary and Cindy at Pathways Homestead. Um, they, we were actually over there uh, in Kansas uh, and they passed it to us while we were there. And you can see that on the video. Um, let's see, they posted a video probably a couple of days ago. I'll put that in the description too of when we were over there and they passed that to us. And yes. I wasn't excited at all. No, not you, at all. Like I was just like so solemn about it. It, it was just really kind of disappointing how Your down nose is played out. longer and longer. <laughs> I was really excited and we are really excited. I mean, I knew she was going to pass the, the box to us. And so we purposely did not watch her video of opening the box because we wanted to be we wanted to be surprised. Yes. So it's like Christmas for us. <laughs> so I guess basically this is mail call. Mail call. So we have we have no idea what's in the box. So we are going to open the box now. Please share the pack, seed pack that is. Please put at least your channel name on the next available line in this book. Yay! That is awesome. Guys, it is it was started February 10th, 2020. And shout them out real quick. Um, but we'll put their links in the description. So it started, like I said, with Sandy at Suburban Homesteader, Wyoming. And then it went to to Marie at Salon Girl Gardens, Anna, Texas. Yes, then it went to Diana at Move North Homestead in uh, Pomona, mm -hmm. Massachusetts, Missouri. I think it's supposed to be M-A. It's M -O. M-O. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then it went to... Anna at Mimsy's Garden slash, at slash Poor Boy Homestead in Waynesboro, Mississippi. Then it went to Kevin at Papa Pepper <laughs> in Lead Hill, Arkansas. Yes, Vicki and Sammy at Little Creek Homestead, Pomona, Missouri. Then it went to Jen, Jen Bryan and the family at Davis Family Farm in Mount Ma Eula, North Carolina. Mount Eula, North Carolina. Fun fact, I was born in North Carolina. <laughs> I don't know anything about North Carolina, but I was born there. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was D and Jess at Naturally NC and Salisbury, uh, Lexington, North Carolina. Then it went to Jessica at J Love Adventures in Martins Ferry, Ohio. Martins Ferry. Mountains Ferry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Then it went to Mandy at Royal Amethyst Acres in Dana, Dana Iowa. All right. And then it moved on to Chrissy at Along the River Homestead in Easton, New York. Yes, and then it went to Scotty at Broke Urban Farmer, Huntington, Indiana. And then Megan at Walterman Ho Homestead in Columbus, Indiana. Joyce at Moore's Patch of Heaven Homestead in Carthage, Missouri. Cindy and Gary at Pathways Homestead in Madison, Kansas. Yes. And now it's with the Robertsons <laughs> at Robertsons Belly Acres. Yes, in <laughs> Sepulpa, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. And the instructions say how this works. You receive the, the share of the pack C box in the mail. You do a video showing you taking seeds out and replace some of your seeds into the box with. Thank you. All right, now we can see what's going on. Then you either pick another YouTube channel to send them to, someone you would like to feature, or you can do a drawing from your, your comment on your video and send it to that person. This keeps going around our YouTube community. During the garden season, do a few shout outs to those channels that you got seeds from. Letting your viewers 
see the veggies and tell why you like them. A fun way to build community and try free seed varieties. Awesome. Okay, you guys, I know I don't have time. We don't have time to go through this entire box one by one, but I'm so stinking excited about this. This is from Pathways Homestead. It's Grandpa Cargill's okra. You need to go and watch Pathways Homestead um, and message them and ask them the story on this. I am so excited about this. This truly has been a blessing for us. for us, yes, because we're starting over this year, you know, we, we built up our gardens, we built up our gardens um, over the years on the farm, and then we had to leave it all behind this year, and we did harvest some seeds from the farm and brought them with us but essentially we're starting over and unfortunately we lost a lot of seeds this year i got put in the hospital i was cleaning the shed out and i had everything out in the yard unfortunately i didn't get everything put up before i had to go to the hospital and it rained for five days and we lost i'm going to say 90 percent of our seeds due to the rain yeah, we had some here inside that, that we had harvested from the farm. Almost everything that we are we are sharing is seeds that we um, saved from the farm. Yes. So, um, almost all of them. But, okay guys, we've gone through the box. Now we're going to start putting together uh, the seeds that we're sending to, sending, putting in the box. So, here we go. Here we go. what you want to send and decide what you want to keep yes um, like we said earlier unfortunately we lost a lot of our seeds so this has been a huge blessing for for us on our place because this has given us not only the some of the things that we had before but there's a lot of new stuff here that we've never tried before and it's like you know we got to check this out yes we're excited so most of this stuff that we're sending came from our farm. Some of the stuff did not. Um, we're, what we're adding to the box is pinto beans from our farm. These were all harvested off of our farm. Put that in this bag. We are also putting in champion radishes. These came from the Amish market in Maisie, Oklahoma. And they're going to be amazing. Yes. I can't wait to plant them. And then uh, the next thing is um, amaranth. It's called elephant trunk. This came from Jason Avers last year, last 
uh, spring we met with him and he gave us some of this. He said he uses, he plants it and then uh, feeds the grain, I guess. It's like grain yeah. to uh, the birds. So we didn't try it last year. We're excited to try it this year. Yes. We are also going to be putting in cow peas. These came harvested from our farm and we planted some. We got a lot here. We didn't get enough to make a meal, but it's gonna take us a little bit. We're hoping to uh, get a whole lot more this year. Yep. Now we know how to harvest them. Yeah, a little bit better, a little bit better what we're doing. Okay, these are mammoth sunflowers. These were harvested off our farm last year as well. So, and these, oh my goodness, they get, well, because they're mammoths, they get huge. So they're the really Those big. heads were probably about that big around and over 10 feet tall. Yes, so we're excited about those. Yes, and here is my pride and joy. Our chili pekin that came from Corpus Christi, Texas. Rachel's mom and dad brought those to us, the seeds to us from down there, and we planted them, and those little suckers are hot, but they are so good. So these are harvested off our farm from last year, so but they originated in Corpus Christi. And guys, we're just putting the dried peppers in there. Um, there's, you know, obviously lots of seeds. Lots in. of seeds in each individual pepper. So. Yes. And then, this is a little unconventional, but um, we had, we had 11 fruit trees on the farm. And when we left, we were so sad to leave the fruit trees behind. Yes. But we were able to get some peach pits. I think we got some apple seeds as well, but I can't find those. We had plums and apples and peaches and pears and, pears and uh, persimmons and- uh, Blackberries. Blackberries and mulberries. And, and we just hope that the new people that have bought the farm are enjoying them, are going to enjoy them as much as we did. Yes. Because we did can a lot of that. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and add some peach pits because we, we had harvested, or yeah, way more peach pits than we expected, than we thought we did. But anyway, there's some peach pits in here if anybody wants to put in that kind of time and effort to grow some trees. Well, on some of these new homesteads, it might be nice when we new homestead to go ahead and have get some, some peach trees started. That's right. But that's what that's our contribution to the box. And all that's left, we're gonna sign the book. seed box or share the pack. This is our first one. If you couldn't tell, we're so excited. <laughs> um, we are going to pass this along. Yes. And we are meeting with... We're meeting with Paragon Ridge Ranch. Yep. So Chrissy and Jeremy have agreed to take the box next. Um, we're going to be meeting with them hopefully tomorrow evening. And uh, we'll record a little bit of that as well. On, on the seed box. So it'll be interesting to see how long this stays in Oklahoma, as many channels as there are here. Right, yeah, because <laughs> there's a lot of channels here in Oklahoma. Um, but hey, this thing has been everywhere. Uh, we're excited to see how far it goes. Yes. And we are super excited that we were included. And in Absolutely, it's been amazing. This is the first time we've been included in something like this. So <laughs> we're looking forward to doing it again. Yes. Um, <laughs> The passing on the box will probably be in another video in the next video um, because this one I'm sure is going to be long enough. Yes. <laughs> so uh, if you guys like our videos, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Yep, share with your friends. Leave a comment, you guys. We want to hear what you got to say. And make sure that you smash that bell to get notified next time we put up a new video. Yep, so until next time, God bless. See ya.